Hey guys, what's going on? All right, so huge news. A lot of stuff is going on. Not all of it, uh, not any of it really is good. Uh, I want to ask you a question. So, um, during our last election cycle, what would you have thought if whenever the president was inaugurated the next day HRC decided that nope that it, it was illegitimate and now I am president and she rode off into the sunset got all these people um, cheering for her other countries other countries saying yep she's president you're not president how would you feel about that it would be pretty crazy right like what kind of what kind of world is this well it's going on right now and we are supporting it so the sanctions didn't seem to work out so well and they keep imposing more sanctions on these people and so now they're just going to throw in their own president like here you go I'm going to give you this guy. Who in the United States would agree with this? Well, apparently our leaders are. I mean, this... <laughs> this is almost comical. Like... Election meddling to... I, I, I couldn't even compare it to anyone. So, you know, Canada issued a statement and... Um, of course Brazil and but Mexico is not backing it and that's going to be a situation of course our VP did also I mean what in the world and right here the United States does not recognize the Venezuelan dictator Nicolas Maduro to illegitimate claim to power what what John Paul um, so apparently now a president, a duly elected president, can be considered illegitimate and replaced by someone from the United Nations or just some shadow government that they feel that they are the president. Yep. Right now in Venezuela, uh, Maduro was inaugurated a few days ago. And now, um, Juan Geraldo, Geraldo, something. So Juan here decided to declare himself <laughs> the president. I mean, what in the crazy world is this? And people are saying, yeah, 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 he's the president. We're going to go with it. Then um, decided, no, I'm the president now. Shadow government out of Miami decided he's the president. And we're backing him. Us in the Lima group, which is like 12 other countries in this hemisphere. Are, well, I don't think 12 are in the group, but other countries are actually saying, yeah, it's totally legit. Well, of course, Russia and China are not agreeing with that. So what do you think is going to happen with this? It's going to be bad. This will start a shooting war. There's no doubts. That's what's going to happen. They are openly overthrowing a duly elected president. John Bolton has tweeted about it. Uh, Mike Pompeo has tweeted about it. They all act like that they can just do this. Like, we no longer have to answer to anybody, and we can just make the rules as we go. What? I mean, this absolutely makes no sense. What's even worse is that American sons and daughters will be used as 
cannon fodder. I now have to kind of watch my words because of the algorithm. Um, for this, they're already training right now for it. I'll show you right here. This is absolutely insanity. And what really, I mean, I don't think anybody understands how big this is. Because the people that are backing Venezuela are China and Russia. But apparently, that this isn't a big story. It, it's not a big deal. There's only about three people talking about this. This is going to start World War III, no doubt. I mean, how can you just overthrow a duly elected president? He's already served six years. And he was re-elected. I mean, what's going on? And then they have this anti-Maduro um, protest in Colombia yesterday. 300 people showed up. 300. Remember that they said that Three million fleed to Colombia. Y'all remember that? Three hundred. I mean, so three million fleed because of that terrible dictator, Maduro. All of these fleeing from Venezuela to Colombia. Who in their right mind is going to do that? <laughs> this is crazy. Three million. Three million. Three million weird how six million came into Venezuela. They forget to tell you that six million fled Colombia. <laughs> Venezuela took five million of them in. Fed, clothed, gave them work. <laughs> Amazing. But only 300 people showed up to the protest yesterday? Sounds like we're being lied to. You really just can't make this stuff up. They act like the internet forgets things. These are the people that are celebrating Maduro's election just a few months ago. Here's some people that right after the assassination attempt that was done right out of Miami, um, they're marching in support of Maduro. I mean, really? I mean, just a wild guess. Just a wild guess. And I just, I really don't understand how so many people are ignoring this. I mean, I kind of do because it's just the, the mentality of, I don't know, I guess we want to wait just like we have in all these other um, countries that we've gone into and then be like, oh, we shouldn't be there after a couple hundred thousand people are dead. Maybe your brother, maybe your uncle, maybe your whatever. Over, like I've always, their God. Gold, oil, and drugs. Uh, I just don't understand how we're going to support what John Bolton says. Or what, I mean, they're already staging it in Puerto Rico. The former mayor of Caracas, he um, got arrested, spent some time in jail. Now they've kind of gone to Puerto Rico and now they're just kind of running things over there. And they're going to use that as a staging area. Why? Let's not forget why because Venezuela is not with the global banking system. They are still yet the only sovereign conservative Christian nation, yet we're gonna demonize them. We won't share this, we won't talk about it, we'll just let it happen. 
until it's too late, until China and Russia says, um, I don't think you're going to do that. And then there's bombs in our backyard. But maybe the wall will help that. I don't know. Like, share, subscribe.